Tonight is August the 30th, 2016. <clears throat> and what I've built here is um, another amplifier. I own a chassis that I've, I've made amplifiers over before and even posted videos of. But this time, I, um, I did something I've been thinking about for some time, and that is... I built this amplifier so that it, it is directly interchangeable between the 5881 6L6 KT66 style tube and genuine, gotta be careful here, 6B4s. 6B4 is a directly heated cathode. I have two beautiful ones here. I can simply pull these two out and put these two in. No changes. So that I can have the uh, standard uh, Acrosound Williamson style amplifier with beam power pentodes and the 6SN7s, 5AR4 rectifier, or I can just pull them out and, and make it a, uh, a directly heated cathode uh, pure triode amplifier. And the reason I can do that is because, of course, they're both, they're all octal sockets. Uh, pin one is, is empty, pin two and seven are the filament, pin three is the plate, pin four is the screen on these, pin five is the control grid, six is not used, seven again is the filament, and eight is the cathode on here. Well, these things are actually wired the same way. Of course, they don't have anything on pin four because they don't have a screen, and they don't have anything on pin eight because they don't have that type of cathode you have to use a um, either a center tap or in this case I use a 25 ohm resistor and that allows me to balance it but I can just simply pull these out and put these in this thing performs marvelously that little James transformer is very very nice does excellent job at, at high frequencies I started this uh, this adventure some time back wanting to know about Acrosound Transformers. I am not disappointed in the Acrosound Transformers. I'm actually quite impressed. The uh, stereo version that I built is installed as I speak and has been ever since I finished it and I love it. Absolutely love it. We watch uh, in our theater, we watch it every night. It, it plays every day for hours and hours. It just absolutely is, is magnificent sounding amplifier. And it only does like 23 to 24 watts output, but that's that's all I need. Anyway, since this one is uh, a single channel, it actually puts out a little bit more. I got virtually the same thing. Actually, I've got a bridge. I've got this two uh, this 5AR4 rectifier, and I've also got two diodes underneath it to make it a bridge because I, I just the center tap version just didn't make it. And I get 450 volts across it. Um, here is the scan of it right now. THD down at 20 hertz is uh, 0.9 at 25 kilohertz. It's 0.79. 9. Nice flat. Really nice. It. I haven't listened to it, but it sure performs really well. It seems like these little James Transformers might possibly have a slight edge on the Acrosound, but I sure can't throw a rock at those Acrosounds because they just, they're just beautiful. Anyway, now all of that, uh, all the accolades there for the Transformers. Um, I'm going to uh, now, I've been letting it cool. I'm going to pull these guys out. I'm going to put the 6B4s in, fire it back up, let it uh, cool down a little bit, and, and I'll show you how this thing performs. It's really nice, and I'll show you underneath it, too. Okay, well, here it is with the 6B4s in it. You can even see that they're lit there. I think they're beautiful. I like this stuff. Well, I did a scan on it. I'm trying not to make the video just ridiculously long while we watch things scan. And here it is. It's only at 12.3 watts. Uh, the THD up at the high end at 25 kilohertz is 1.49. You can see that. 
So we do have a little more distortion up at uh, the very high end. The low end is actually even better. So it's half the power, which is I don't find as a problem. Um, it probably, maybe there's a lot of inter electro capacitance in these old 6 b 4s I don't know. But there it is. There's its curve. Let me see if I can go back to the other one quickly. And there's the other one. There's with the 5881's in it. The high end's a little bit better. I'm really anxious to listen to it. I don't know why, but I'm charmed with these triode amps. I can see by hand here the reflection in the uh, making this video. <clears throat> Anywho, let me uh, flip this guy over and, and I'll show you how I was able to make this thing just turn it off, pull them out, and plug them in. So you could use the 6B4s. That's really about all. 6B4 and a 2A3 is the same thing, but they repackaged uh, the base and what have you. And, um, you know, so you could put. 5881, 6L6s, KT66s, etc. in here. Let me flip it over and I'll show you. I'll show you why we can do this. Okay, well, all of the power supply I've learned is you want to crowd it all together. Maybe that's not the right word, but the, you know, install it all together. Use a common ground that seems to absolutely have a, a, an effect on signal to noise ratio. I have not measured it on this one yet. But if you look at the pin, if you know the pin out of a 6L6 and a 5B4, pin 1 is just a uh, place that I used as a tie point. But three, see here's pin 4, which is not used on the 6B4, but it is on the 5881s and it goes back over to the screen tap here on this transformer. 5 is the grid, 6 is uh, not used, 7, 8 is the cathode. Now in this case I've got the cathode, I've got pin 8 tied to pin 8 and uh, for the uh, 6L6s, 5881s, this is the cathode uh, bias resistor. But for the um, 6B4s, this one, this capacitor and resistor is the cathode bi bias resistor and if you can possibly follow that wire. You see it goes right back to that little uh, pot right there. And this pot goes to each side of the um, filament. So in the directly heated filament one, uh, it comes to this pot and then off the center we go to the bias resistor. So this is bias for the 6B4 and this is bias for the 5881s. Otherwise the, the circuit's exactly the same. And here's the two diodes I put in to make it a bridge. Interesting enough, when you turn it on, you get no DC until the tube warms up. So it still has a, a soft power up. So these little transformers actually work really nice. Let's see, there's a the way I've got it to 4, 8, and 16 ohm output. I got a 10K pot over there. Uh, I tested this thing uh, at 21 watts. This thing probably maybe ought to be a 20 or 25K, but I've mentioned this in some of my other videos. I have found out that just regardless of what the amp is, if you keep this resistor right here fairly low, uh, you will you will not have to deal with instabilities and, and goofiness in your amplifier. This amplifier has no parasitics. Uh, it I have no uh, capacitors off the screens. or I, I don't have to mitigate any any anomalies in this amplifier. It's pretty amazing. This is the feedback resistor. Works equally well for uh, both the 6B4 and the 5881. Let's put this thing uh, on some static test and, uh, and, and we'll see. I'll show you just how much power and THD it does. And uh, you'll, you'll see it actually is, is pretty nice. Got a few extra holes in it here, but you know, that's the way it is. We turn it over and, and uh, hook it up again. Okay, let's just look at some good static test driving it. Um, this is power, 13.8 watts. Somebody asked the other day, was this a uh, Tektronix DMM4020? And the answer is yes, and you can measure power with it. You just go to um, 
shift and here and then you, you, you set the resistance to whatever you want it. And of course in my case it's eight and then you just hold, press and hold the range and then watch it beeps and then you rotate between see PO power, uh, voltage, decibels, uh, DBM, there we're back to power. Anyway, 13.86 watts at 2 kilohertz, 0.26 percent. So it's doing great. Okay, let's see where it starts. To, let's see where it goes up to 1 percent. Goes up to 1 percent at uh, a maximum of right there, 1 percent, uh, 18 watts. See, there you go. There's 18 watts. There's our 2 kilohertz. There's our TFT 1%. That's pretty good for a pair of 6B4s. It's actually starting to very slightly clip. There's its error output. There's what it looks like on an oscilloscope. It does really nice. Now, it can't do that at all frequencies. Let's turn this thing back down. Let's watch this and turn it back down to maybe like 12 watts. Let's give the guy a break. Well, let's set it, at, set it at 13 watts. Let's be kind of, let's see what it can do at 13 watts, okay? Well, 0.24%, let's see at 20 kilohertz, let's see what it does. Well, it's up there to 1.2%. See, there's our 20 kilohertz, 1.2, at 12.87 watts. There's back there are two kilohertz. Here's 200 hertz. 0.23, and here's 20 hertz. See, it's less than a half percent at 20 hertz. At still 13 watts. I mean, the power is practically flat. If you do the power ratios to get decibels, 10 times the log of the power ratios, it's just virtually it's flat. I mean, you can see it on the scan. There's our 20 hertz. Good power, low distortion. Uh, here's what it looks like down here on the oscilloscope. There it is right here again. And it's error. Isn't that nice? <laughs> for a bunch of 60 year old old directly heated triode tubes. Now this transformer is 8K. I did try uh, moving it around to the 4 ohm tap, the 16 ohm tap, you know, so that I, my reflected primary impedance was different. It, it worked great right there. That, that's its best place. So all the books will tell you that it's supposed to be about 5K and I, I'm not going to argue that. Let me turn out some lights here. But um, the thing does a, just really a nice job. I think it's beautiful. I thought I saw some, a little bit of blue in there. Well, I see some blue, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess that is coming from the tubes. I hear my kitty cat in there, too. I bet that gets recorded. Anyway, um, another triode. Swap in and out triode, uh, pure triode amplifier. Or make it a pentode. Uh, or beam power tube. You get more than double the power. Pretty much double, and uh, I'm going to be hooking it up here and listening to it in just a little bit. So, uh, hope you enjoy these videos. I enjoy doing this. I do actually more than this. I made a uh, a change to my old transmitter. Uh, the tr transmitter comes up with 3,600 volts, and I had to make a modification to that, so I have a step start circuit. But I don't think anybody's too interested in that. And. Uh, that's what I've been up to lately. So uh, I hope all the YouTube community is doing well. And thank you for watching. And um, stay safe.